it was. He met yeah. me when I was standing in picture queue yeah, to go uh, into the cinema. Yeah, uh, and he'll tell you what he said to his friend, if I can't have her, I don't want anybody. Yeah, and that's it, the it, truth. Yeah, we just passed in the night and that was it. And how do we keep the spark alive? Well, we have a kiss and a cuddle, certainly, many times during the day. Yes. That's for sure. We eat together and we go to bed together. Yeah. We, we all... do not have the same interests. We only have a few of the same interests. We have different interests. And probably that's a good thing because yeah. we can talk about different, uh, things. different things, you yeah. know, to keep yeah. things alive. It is. Yeah. In 2009, for Valentine's Day, Jeff gave me an album of all our happy times together and it was absolutely wonderful and all the lovely places we'd been together. Yeah. They were really nice. Well, I don't do the cooking now because Jeff <laughs> took over the cooking when I was still teaching. <laughs> and I've never asked him if he wants me to take it back. And I'm not going to, neither. That, it's hard to keep me happy. That's not keeping me happy. It does keep you happy because I know you. He brings my breakfast to bed every morning with a kiss <laughs> and a cup of tea. My favourite memory is after Jeff had been abroad, we got married in the December and he went abroad in the January for 18 months to two years. And my happiest memory is when he came back home and he rattled the gate latch and I was ironing his civvy trousers. But and if it hadn't been for my mum, he'd have had a hole in them because I run down the yard when <laughs> I heard the latch. And I said to my mum, it's Jeff. <laughs> and that's my happiest memory. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I've had thousands of how happy, about to happy memory, isn't How it? about when we had the children? That's a happy oh, memory. Oh, no, no, they're a, they're a nightmare. <laughs> God, they were crying. <laughs> they're a nightmare. Oh, they were crying all the while. It's a wonder I had any more when I'd had our Stephen. He cried from when he was born till he was two. I think uh, the happy memories have uh, actually been the same, but over quite a few times. Pauline. He's had to spend a lot of time in hospital over the years. In fact, there's not been many times when, many years when she hasn't been in and had 21 major operations. So the happiest time has always been when I fetched her home. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you know, when she's, when she's at home, come home with me. That's always been definitely the happiest time. And there's five magic words for men. And, and that is, Pauline, sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> and that's it. It's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs>